Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's bird video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the said 14 days. For today's bird video, day 10 will take us to the 26th of February and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS at ECM on Summers. Maybe we'll try a couple of weeks. Have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us to the middle of March. I should get on that for you in a moment to say that first. The video today was our 6M UK weather forecast and uh, we've also released the final update for spring as well that's update number six so uh please check out both of those bits if you'd like to do that like share and subscribe on all of today's content thank you so much everyone for dear matt we're not live streaming the 10 to 14 day today we're doing it as you can see as a video upload i was a bit poorly overnight this morning uh with a uh, migraine so um that's the reason you know but uh, we are doing a video uh, rather than uh, a live stream for the 10 to 14 day of today. Hope that's all right uh, with everyone. Right, let's start off then. We're going to begin with the latest Wimpler map from Earth Null School. Dot net showing that we're bringing the wind in from the east again today um actually cold air is pushing back in a little bit today but uh, it's on its way out with cold weather uh we will find the weather systems and the milder winds from the west advancing in over the next few days replacing the scandinavian high the easterly winds and all the cloud that's been with us over the past uh, couple of weeks or so so the coming week will be turning a lot milder but it's not going to be an immediate process it will be quite chilly still on monday and tuesday Central temperature is currently sitting at 4.1 that's just 0.3 of a degree above the 61 to 99 average provisional to yesterday to the 15th of february so uh, that might tick down a little bit more over the next couple of days possibly dropping into the upper freezer then later next week should start to rise these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Looking at London today, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. Starting off, starting off about average at the moment, but the upper air temperatures will be lifting up over the uh, next week, becoming very mild actually uh, later on uh, next week. Um, Thursday, Friday into uh, next weekend looking really mild as we get through to the end of February and the beginning of March possibly a bit of a cooling trend uh, in evidence there but no sign of anything particularly cold coming up for the next couple of weeks anyway precipitation wise could be a lot of dry weather over the next few days but gradually turning uh, more unsettled when we get through to the end of um, the coming week and into uh, next weekend as well and those unsettled possibly quite wet conditions will then take us through to the end of February and into the beginning of March temperature anomalies uh, for the next five days coming out close to average to uh, most areas a little bit milder than average in the far south and southwest and significantly milder average for island if you look at the six to ten day temperature anomaly then it looks much milder as we've been saying in the videos a lot over the past uh, few days or so uh, some very mild weather is on the way so up to day 10 um looking really mild there and the 10 to 14 day temperature anomaly comes down a bit but still really staying above average and the precipitation anomaly for the next seven days is a bit drier than average in the east but uh, wetter than average out to the west especially so for island right let's start going through the important chart data then we have the latest uk mate euro run is looking big night on wednesday high pressure still trying to cling on uh, to the east but low pressure is heading in from off the atlantic and that's a trend into the second half of next week bringing up this very mild uh southwesterly wind and those southwesterlies then stay with us through um next weekend which gets us sunny the 23rd of february still pushing in uh, along that southwesterly with the air originating from the azores icon again gradually weakening off that ridge through wednesday into thursday and friday we find a southwesterly pumping up the air from the azores so becoming very mild in the weekend but there will be outbreaks of rain included and then into next weekend where we keep those southwesterlies going you know it really is a very mild outlook up to uh, next sunday with uh, southwesterly winds and the air originating from the Azores, or maybe even south of the Azores, perhaps the Canary Islands. Um, this is how the KMA is looking. So, again, low pressure taking over um, through the second half of the, the coming week, uh, but very mild with winds in 
through the west southwesterly direction. And we keep those southwesterlies going then through towards month's end. That looks a bit stormy there. That's the 25th of February. Um, oh, possibly a severe gale there. Of course, it's a long way off, so it probably won't verify. Uh, then after that, we come towards month's end, 28th February. I'm just starting to get a little bit colder again. Some higher pressure in the Atlantic and winds going into more of a north or a northwesterly patch. But GFS 6Z again shows a low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic through the second half of uh, this week. Again, drawing up the air from the Azores, so looking uh, really mild through into uh, next weekend. And then heading on up towards day 10, where we find a low pressure out to the north and west of Scotland to bring some showery rain in from the west, but still looking generally mild. And into the extended range with GFS midnight run, it stays mild, a little bit unsettled, uh, low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic at times, bringing some wet weather. But overall, the wind stays from a southerly southwesterly, so the outlook into the beginning of March even is mild. And then GFS 6 Z, all much of a muchness through the uh, second half of the coming week with winds in from the southwest again. Um, into next weekend, again, we've got the southwesterlies with low pressure, bringing plenty of wet and windy weather in from off the Atlantic. That's a little bit cooler around day 9 and 10 with that trough of low pressure bringing, bringing in a little bit more of a northwesterly. But uh, overall, again, just looking rather uh, mild with winds constantly coming from a southerly or a southwesterly direction. Now, right at the very end of GFS 6, we find signs of high pressure beginning to build over Scandinavia again. Um, no, I'm not sure we want to go back into that pattern again, but right at the very end of 6, then, we find a cold pool plunging southwards into the northeast of Europe. And as I say, there is some higher pressure building over Scandinavia. So that's trying to get us back into a Scandinavian high and easterly. Of course, it's a long way off, 384 hours. So I don't think we need to pay too much, uh, um, you, you know, uh, credence to that at the moment. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for showing everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us say what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weathers. Get them to subscribe to Thank you so much everyone uh, for doing that. So sorry, but we're uh, doing a video rather than a live stream uh, today. Live stream will be back on Wednesday, hopefully. GM, again, with low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. That, bring, that will bring some wet weather into the north and west, but it will be very mild with those southwesterly winds continuing into uh, next weekend. And then heading up towards day 10, again, uh, we keep the wind in from the west of the southwest, looking pretty mild. That's a bit cooler by day 10 with this trough pushing uh, across the country, possibly bringing some showery rain and then introducing the wind perhaps from uh, the North Atlantic. Uh, and then the ECM rounding it all off again, we've got wind coming up from a southerly southwesterly direction at the end of the week. Low pressure will be bringing wet weather at times as well. And low pressure keeps driving in through around days 8, 9 and 10 as well, keeping it pretty mild but also uh, unsettled. Uh, low pressure begins to shift southwards just after day 10. And it's a hint of high pressure trying to build over Scandinavia with the ECM as well, possibly. Um, however, it doesn't come to much and low pressure just keeps on uh, rolling through to uh, the 3rd of March. So it's an unsettled but generally mild outlook. There is a bit of attempt, an attempt there to build some high pressure over Scandinavia. Um, oh. Bit of a hint, perhaps, of the Scandinavian high trying to get going right at the very end of uh, February into the beginning of March, but very tentative at the moment, so very, very long way off. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tibetia.com. So we're going to have some rain and snow in the north over the next couple of days. And then the milder air comes in around Wednesday, Thursday, bringing outbreaks of rain across the country. And the rain then keeps on coming. Rain bands keep on coming and going up to about uh, day 10. A little bit drier by day 10 and, slight, and uh, slightly cooler as well by then. This will be options on the table within the ECM ensembles today uh, for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 26th of February. 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles, all of them, with but uh, low pressure in from the Atlantic. So unsettled and possibly a little bit cooler with the air originating from, like, um, south of Greenland, somewhere like that. And then in two weeks' time, this is the option that we've got. 
uh, and it gets us to the 3rd of March. Again, 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles, all of them, with deep blow pressure in the Atlantic, high pressure through France, and winds coming in from a mild or a very mild uh, southwesterly direction there. So, um, might go a little bit cooler around day 10, but uh, in two weeks' time, looking pretty mild with high pressure, south, low pressure to the north, and unsettled. CFSB2, uh, finally, these are 500 millibar height knowledge broken down in two weeks periods. The first week period takes us from 16th to 22nd of February. But next week, we have low pressure out to the west. So, um, more unsettled, but mild winds coming up from a southerly or a southwesterly direction. Week 2 is a little bit more settled with high pressure again to our east. Low pressure is out to the west and a little bit more of a southerly flow um, with that rather than southwest. So it might be slightly cooler, uh, perhaps a little bit more of a continental influence. But that said, I think it's still pretty mild. It's just a, a, a drier scenario. Back to unsettled weather for week three. It's the 2nd to the 8th of March with low pressure in. From the Atlantic, that's bringing plenty of uh, wet and possibly quite windy weather in from the west as well. Could be a bit on the cool side. Also, like a northwest south east alignment to the wind blowing jet stream. And then week four is the 9th to the 15th of March. Again, low pressure is coming in from off the Atlantic. So, looking unsettled with uh, bouts of rain. And again, could be a bit of a northwest south east alignment to the jet stream. So, perhaps not overly mild as we go through the first half of March, but it certainly looks quite unsettled. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web and get them to subscribe too. And we thank you so much uh, for doing that. Thanks so much, everyone. Uh, right, tomorrow we're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast and there'll be a 10 to 14 day as well. As I say, we're hopefully going to be live on uh, Wednesday. Uh, that's our next scheduled live stream. Uh, so uh, I shall see you then. But for this one, that's all for now. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And bye for now.